Um, hello, hello guys. I hope you're all doing well. My name is Khadija. If you are new to this channel, welcome. Um, welcome to the family as well. So um, in today's video, I'm going to show you how I achieve this beautiful makeup using this beautiful pastel lilac eyeshadow. This is by Huda Beauty. This is what I use to create this look you see right here. And also to test these two foundations, the Huda Beauty and the Juvia's Face Foundation. I was just curious, both of this foundation are a very, very good foundation. So I was wondering like, why not put them to the test and see which one will pass the test. So the test is basically going to be which product here is going to stay all day on the face without creasing and which one of this is matte is very very matte you know what i mean so yeah we're gonna put this product to the test and we're gonna try this beautiful eyeshadow uh, my first thought when i saw this eyeshadow was like ah oh, yeah pastels colors are this is what i think i think they are meant for light-skinned people but you know, I was just curious and the eyeshadow was of course pretty so I thought I should give it a try and buy it and yeah, so these are the products we're gonna use today. I hope you enjoy this makeup and the whole video as well and yeah, before we move further, make sure you hit that subscribe button and also leave me your thoughts about this makeup. What do you think? Do you like it? Would you rock it? Let me know. So yeah, without further ado, let's dive into this video. Ciao. Hello, so I'm gonna start off by applying this face oil. This is from Slush Bell Face oil. I'm going to apply that all over my face and just massaging it just like so. Then I'll apply this um, Cetaphil moisturizer and just to keep the face moisturized. So I'll be going in with this foundation. This is the Huda Beauty foundation in this shade um, Cinnamon. I'm going to apply that on the right side of my face. I'm using my beauty sponge or beauty blender to apply that or whatever you want to call it. And I'm just making sure that it goes on all the, those little corners. So, like I told you just now, we are going to try these two foundations. This is um, Juvia's Place and this is Huda Beauty, two of them. On this side, I'm going to use this one. Oh my god, this is unbelievable. From what I can see here is um, this Nuban Beauty you've seen. Can I see Nuban? Juvia's Place Foundation. Is. Oh my god, the coverage is fuller than the Huda Beauty. Oh my god, this is unbelievable. I still haven't finished using the one eye coat. So I don't know if you can tell This side has a fuller coverage than this side But again, let me add a little bit of a pump Just a little bit To add on the areas On my spot areas Let's see I think this matches my skin tone really well and this is a little bit too yellow but it's okay we can make it work so right now guys honestly I am confused I feel like both of them have um, very good coverage and I honestly cannot choose like I can't like it's so amazing but this is like a double price for this one so this is a bit cheaper and this is pricey 
plus one. This is just 10,000 and this is 22,000. And this is um, 35 ml and this is 30 ml. Oh my God, this is unbelievable. Like it's almost the same size and this is double the price of this. So let's go ahead and highlight. For highlighting, I'm going to use this uh, two concealers. This is the Juvia Space Concealer and this is the Fenty Beauty. To apply my concealer, I'm going to try this um, trendy <laughs> Instagram makeup application that goes like this. We're going to apply a little bit here and then here. They said that you're not supposed to apply concealer all over your um, under eye. And the usual place, we normally highlight this area and this area. Reach up to those two. Okay. I'm going to add a little bit under my brow bowl. I'm going to spray my setting spray and the PT blender. I used to do that before, but not anymore. But recently, I started seeing it on Instagram. Then I, I was like, why not? I should give it a try again. So I'm going to blend that out. So guys, um, we are looking all nice and blended. I'm gonna go ahead and get a concealer that is a shade or two, maybe two shades lighter than my skin tone and contour my face. So to contour my nose, I'm using this brush from um, Yanga Beauty. What I'm basically doing is just um, applying the um, cream concealer this dark concealer from this point like that blending it out gradually then what's left to on the brush I'll just bring it down on the bridge of the nose because I don't want um, any strong um, or harsh line coming down my nose I'm using this brush this is the little technique brush And then to set the highlighted areas, I'm going to use Sasha Buttercup Setting Powder under my eyes, chin, on all the areas I highlighted. Because I feel like this technique is trying to, you know, bring out your cheekbones to make your cheekbones even more pronounced but i don't want that so i'm just trying it out i might not keep this technique i don't know it's kind of cute but nobody wants this huge cheekbones okay i am okay with mine because already i have big cheeks but let's just finish the whole look and see
using my Sasha face powder to set the entire face, all the areas I didn't highlight or contour. Then um, I'll contour my face because I feel like um, it needs that contour. So I'm going to use my Yaga Beauty brush to sculpt that face. You know what I'm talking about? You know what I mean? Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. I'll go in with my Yaga Beauty setting spray to set my face. Nigerian makeup artists, they like doing this, so I thought I should give it a try. Then we'll move on to the brows. For the brows, we are going to use our Younger Beauty Brow Lotion. Oh, I really like this technique, like my face has dried down, it looks very very um, matte and very nice and laid. Oh my god, I love this technique. From now on, this, I'm gonna take it. This technique is just mine. So, um, I always show you how I do my brows. I feel like today, let's take a break, okay? <laughs> let's just move to the eyeshadow. I uh, applied my um, Younger Beauty Eyeshadow Eyeshadow Primer on the lid before applying my eyeshadow. This is 35P Morphe Eyeshadow. We're going to use that. I'm going to use that brush too to apply some dark purple on the crease. You know, I remember I told you these pastels are, I think, meant for light skinned people. So, to make it work, I need to apply some dark eyeshadow as the base, just to, you know, just for the color to pop. So, um, this is how the color or what the color looks like or what the eyeshadow looks like so I'm using a light color maybe lilac color eyeshadow from the palette to blend out the crease area then I'm using my finger to apply the eyeshadow on my lid look at that pretty color it is so beautiful look at that Now I will use my Inglot black eyeliner to line my lid. Yeah, to make a eyeliner or wing eyeliner. Okay guys, I need to warn you on this. Don't say I did not warn you, okay? Whenever you do your eyeliner, you do not breathe, okay? Do not take a breath <laughs> till you're totally done. But you don't take a breath. <laughs> Okay guys, on a serious note, <laughs> All right, I'm just kidding. So I, as you can see, I applied my false lashes, then I'm trying to, you know, smoke out my bottom lash line, as you can see, with some um, brown eyeshadow. I mean, the color I used on my crease, the first color I applied. Okay, we're looking all nice and cute, look at that, cute, cute, cute. I'm just trying to dust off the excess powder and then apply some mascara too. this is the finished look guys what do you think about this makeup do you like it would you buy this pastel eyeshadow tell me what you think hello guys um so it's been five hours since when i finished the makeup i've been indoors since and um yeah so um this is the huda beauty side and this is the jubia's place side 
what do you think guys which side is more oily than the other so i feel like the juvia's place is less oily than the huda beauty so well done juvia's place juvia's place passed the test and um, i mean after all it's just half price of the huda beauty so for me this is it like this is the best foundation right now like honestly jv's place just did the job really well so tell me your opinion what you, what do you think so thank you so much for watching i'll see you in my next video